Hi friends, welcome back to Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Daveen and I homeschool four kids ages 10, 11, 12, and 14. Actually, they will be 11, 11, 12, and 14 once you see this video. So today I'm going to be giving you a look at Sunlight G, Geology, Physics, and Origins, and the things that go along with it. So we're going to start with the teacher's guide, which is right here. Okay, so this is for ages 12 to 14, for grades 7 through 9, and I have the five day. And I'm using this with my 14-year-old daughter who is in eighth grade this year. However, we are using it as her first high school science credit. And I'll explain along the way on how we're adapting it to work for our family. We are actually going to be using just the first two parts here, geology and physics, and then I add some supplemental things that I like to do on the side. If you wanna see my seventh and eighth graders picks, I talk more about how we're doing our science with her this year. So I'll link that in the description box below. But anyways, let's take a look at this science here. Now we have the table of contents here and then they have um, a welcome page, an introduction. It talks here about how they deal with evolution in sunlight, along with back here, the age of the earth. I would say definitely read through those for yourself. You might wanna zoom in and read through those for yourself to see if that is how you would like to handle science. I personally like sunlight for the way they approach science. It is more of a perspective where I don't believe that they come from a young earth perspective, maybe more of an old earth perspective. However, we still believe that God created the earth and however he did that is however he did that. So I kind of like that it approaches it from that perspective personally. So here we have the books that come with this. So I'm just going to give you a look at these as we go through. So what's science all about? So that is this book here. My daughter has started using that this year. So it covers biology, chemistry, and physics. And so it basically has different sections like that. And so this is sort of what that book looks like. And this is primarily what she's been doing at this point. And it does skip around, sunlight skips around, they pick certain sections. They don't read the whole book. They have questions they have to answer from their assigned readings. All right, so we have that book there. And then we have tops. Okay, so I really could not find this one right now. 13. Oh, it's the one we're using right now. So I'm not sure where it is, but I do have this one. So it has 13 and 10. So this is the one, this is 10 analysis. We're not using this one at the moment, but this is basically the experiments book. And it has like experiment cards at the end here that kind of tell you how to do the experiments. So what I did with the 13 that we're using right now, I basically went through the back there and I photocopied the task sheets and I laminated them so that I could use this again in the future with other kids. And so when she does an experiment, she gets one of these cards and it does have more explanation than that in the book. So that's what I did with these cards just for her experiment days. It's so weird that when you're looking for something, you know you have it and it was all together, everything was together, except for the one that I'm looking for there. All right, and then we have Usborn, Internet Linked Encyclopedia of Planet Earth. So that is this one. And a very typical Usborn style. That's what that looks like. Very beautiful. All right, and then we have Evolution, the Grand Experiment. So this is the part we're probably not doing this year. So it does cover evolution and a biblical view of where evolution does fall short. 
So this one is one that I might do together with my whole, like all my kids, I'm thinking. I don't plan on tackling this, this part of it this year. So there's that. And we also have Icons of Evolution DVD. So I'm looking forward to watching that with my kids. So those are the books that come with this guide. Here is a science supply list. And here is the stuff that comes in the kit. All right, in a second here, I'm gonna cut into where I show a clip of me unboxing the science kit. You can buy it or not. You can choose to just get your own things as well, but it's very handy to have the science kit. And then this tells you what weeks it is used in. And then they will tell you each week if you need to get your own thing. So here All we are. All right, so I apologize for the noise. The window's open, it's really hot around here, but here is the science kit and I will say I have not looked inside of it at all so this will be sort of an unboxing for us here okay so we have the science supply kit so it tells us everything that is in the kit and some emergency first aid procedures and there you go we have cornstarch and sand and lime we have Alka-Seltzer tablet and aspirin, some of these clothespin paper clips, glycerin, lab grade, little dropper, iodine pove, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a sciencey person, I don't know how to read that, let's read those, let's just let's see, more of those eyedropper things, okay, so some more droppers, and I'm not sure what this is. Oh, some glass slides. And it looks like some masking tape there and some cups and a candle, little cups. Hmm, what else? Oh, there's stuff hiding down here. Litmus paper, an index card. Oh my goodness. Trying not to disturb this whole thing. Okay, some round paper here and yeah, some foil. And oh, there's more. So I will say I have never done a sunlight science before. This will be our first time. So it'll be interesting to see how things go. Okay, not sure what that is. Grid paper and looks like something to show us how to do. How to do something. All right, so some instructions and microscope, little tubey thing. Okay, so that's what is in the science kit. I'll put that together in a minute here. But so here we are starting at the grid. And so it's a five day week. And so what she would do is read what science all about. So let's just take a look at what a day would look like here. So reading pages 94 to 101. Okay, so we have 95 is just this, 94. So it's really not that much. And that's just a table of contents. So we're going from here to 101, basically. So one, two, three, four, four page spread. And then she'd be answering questions one to three. So that, the activity pages are back here. So here are questions one, two, three. Very helpful, they have the page numbers there so they can help to find their answers. And then this is just telling me to look at the list below. So it's basically four days of reading with questions to answer and one day experiment. And then there's an additional do together experiment there. They tell you what you need for that week there. And then they also tell you what you need for the next week here so you can get ready. There's notes here notes about the book, maybe the science book, and notes about the activity sheets there. And over here, there's a challenge, so they can you can choose to do the challenge or not. And then here's a do together, kind of an experiment you can do together with your child. And then we have the answer keys here, and then the worksheet pages. So two sides for that week. Not a ton of worksheets, and I'd like that there's only one experiment a week. And so same, similar thing for week two. Same thing there, we have our answers and the activity sheets, same thing, double-sided. 
activity sheet, and then week three looks like that. And a few more pages for activities, so three pages all together for activities. And then how I set this up myself is I just made, because this is for my daughter in high school, she's supposed to be doing high school level stuff, so what I did was I went and made my own little booklet for her and I went and I photocopied all the grids. So she has as many grids as we are going to be using for this sunlight. So I photocopied those so she can follow along. As you can see, she's checking off as she goes. And then in the back here, I have her activity sheets here. So she has everything she needs in this binder and I don't have to do it. <laughs> I don't have to get it prepared for her any day. So I have been happy with this. I feel like it is the right amount for her. So I would say seventh to ninth grade, very appropriate for that grade level. It doesn't take forever, but it's not too easy. And like I said, we are using this in conjunction with some other things that I've provided. So we're only doing about half to two thirds this, and then we're doing something else that I planned. So like I said, I'll link that in the description box below if you want to see sort of how we're doing science this year with her. And yeah, so that is everything for Sunlight G. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions that I can answer for you, feel free to comment below and I will try to get back and answer those questions. Thanks for coming everybody and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye everyone.